Onivia, League of Legends highlights. It's kind of madness. You know, maybe we're getting something really weird, um, but I'm expecting that just to be a hover, and we'll have to actually wait and find out what the final pick is going to be here. Can I just say that I love the fact that the first game that we get... Pretty fast clip. And if you're playing for a soul win condition, you're generally pretty happy to see Cloud as the first because that's not usually the soul you want. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be a pretty high value soul. You're almost alongside that Gnar. And, you know, when paired up with Ivern, having that offensive shield is so powerful. You hit a root, you can get the instant dash onto them as a melee champion like Gwen. Then you put the shield for the offensive damage, the shielding, but also the slow is really, really fast. Oh, Flash coming out from Pride. Oh. Stalker who finds Summit just waiting. Flash for nothing. First blood, Golden Guardians. Nicely done. Pride Stalker getting so aggressive. Action in all three lanes, actually, oh. for that Dragon Spawns, especially if he can. That, I think, would be really, really big. If he can get back to base, get a support item, get over there with Moonstone that early, you're going to be feeling pretty damn good about your chance of it. No flash on Winston. Oh, he's dead. Oh, they've already got him rooted. Pride Stalker has joined the fight, and Winston has joined the dead. Golden Guard. Not like he can do a whole lot to contribute to this, but they have bottom lane control, and that's enough. Of course, the shield from Ivern will be enough to keep him alive there at Blaze Olive. You still have Victor, Yumi, Kiana Jin, some really powerful champions towards the later stages. I feel like four minutes from now, that third Drake fight, that's going to be the big fight we're really yeah. looking for. Cloud9 will want to take it because they oh, want to have that dive. Drake. Now we got the dive coming out again. Pride Stalker rooted, stuck underneath the turret and outplayed by Cloud9. They're on the board. Yeah, the Cloud9 bot lane finally get one back, and here comes the collapse. Fudge is coming in. Berserker's going to be taken low, but he will get away. Look at the shielding on the man. God bless. That is a lot of extra HP. A Blaze Olive is now stuck in the bottom side of the river. He's going to be taken down. Blabber is 1v3 in the three. Better run. Blabber's doing a lot of damage to everybody else while Cloud9's able to win there. 3v1 instead. Double kill back over to Blabber. Ole, you are not long for this world. Splat that cat. Triple kill. 1v3. Blabber. Early stages after that big fight, they've kind of just turtled it back up. They've lost their gold lead. They are going to have some pretty soul and expect to win. And it really pushed back the timetables because they were looking like they could have fought at third dragon. Now they have to wait for four, but Fudge is far up. He is looking dead. Oh, goodness gracious blink and he's dead golden guardians they make the collapse work that time they find fudge but what else can they get from it we're at the point ad on top of that so it really can put you to these crazy crazy numbers where pride stalker is already sitting at 300 ad this early in the game summit under pressure licorice going in here he's ulted up the dominus is ready to go he's gonna be hurt by the Deadly Flourish, but he will not be taken down. Pride Stalker going in. Ole has switched his attachment over to his jungler, and Summit falls. Fudge tries to make his way down there in time to give some sort of... go, C9, they're going after the Drake. They're saying, give us the soul. Summit by time. If you're dead, you're dead. It won't matter that much. Shot's not going to find it. The Dragon goes over to C9. Summit even gets away. Golden Guardians have been outmaneuvered around this bottom side, and Cloud9 win a massive prize. Blabber's gonna find a Blaze Olive right here, face check into the brush. Blabber gets stunned up, but Gwen is immune, and Renekton is not. Fudge gets the kill. Cloud9 get it all. They are just ripping through this Baron. Okay, he switched over now. Now he's got green and blue. He only had like a couple shots left <laughs> for the white. Man. Well, the Baron only has a couple shots left. It's helpful, that's so true. that's okay. We ended up there anyway as the Baron falls. Cloud9 will secure that one. All five players. Oh, Flabber, they can't kill yeah. him off instantly. Well, now here's Sona. Now here's Ivor. Now, now he's back to HP. full HP. And you are just on the run here as a Renekton having to spend your resources to just flee the scene while someone is chilling in a side lane a couple levels up at this point from this Renekton who is trying to group, who is trying to help contest things with Anders. You just almost never really reach that critical mass of damage to where you can kill someone before they can get the heals and the shields on them. Man, you're talking about mass. Well, the Church of LS is having a great time denouncing the evils of Renekton Hallelujah. here in this one because Licorice and the Golden Guardians are now stuck inside their base. Cloud9 applying the pressure. They'll have Baron for another 90 seconds or so, and they want to see how much they can get. Pride Stalker going back over to mid while the dive happens. Bottom, a Blaze Olive. Already dead. Blabber fears no man, fears no turret, fears nothing at all when you got two different enchanters backing you up. Over here in mid, it's Summit, Summit 1v2. The way out of the 1v2. Ole, get over here. He's going back in, and they're going all the way, and Golden Guardian.
Falcons are going home. Cloud nine. They'll take that Baron buff all the way to the Nexus and take Golden Guardians down. Well, that's the way to do it, entering the LCS.